Today I wanted to do uh, a somatic practice that I have from one of my teachers, Judith Blackstone. And uh, she calls this, it's a mouthful of tuning to fundamental consciousness, but uh, I call it just a simple embodiment practice. And we're gonna do the very stripped down version of it. And we're gonna do uh, a shorter version of it. I have a longer version of it, uh, uh, 17 minutes about, and that's on, you can find on awakening.training. Um, today we're gonna try to about 10 minutes. So I'm just acknowledging that we might be moving this along a little quicker, but I encourage you to slow it down on your own. And uh, this practice is explicitly inhabiting the body. So we'll just get started. So ah, take a moment to really arrive at where you're at. And you know you can take in the space, look around, see what you see, hear what you hear. Your smells, smells, those smells. I have incense burning, so I can smell that. And it's just simple acknowledgement of the sensory experience. And take a few deep breaths. Slow inhalation. Let the exhale go wherever it wants to go. And if you can, when you take in that slow inhalation, see if you can sense the very core of your body and making contact the core of your body with your inhalation. Now close your eyes if they're not already closed. And feel the contact your feet is making with the floor or whatever is beneath your feet. Really sense the physical contact your feet are making. And feel as if there's no separation between your feet and the floor. Now come into the internal space of your feet. Here you're not aware of your feet. You are the internal space of your feet. You're living as and in the internal space of your feet. And don't worry if this doesn't feel complete or full. Allow yourself to just gently inhabit more and more the internal space of your feet. And when you do this practice on your own, you can take all the time you need to come home into the internal space of your feet and your body. Resting inside the internal space of your feet as you breathe in, see if you can stay down this far in your body, down in your feet. And when you inhale, you don't lift up out of your feet. And even if you do lift up out of your feet, you can just notice that, notice that movement that probably was unconscious before. You can be curious about that. And 
Now coming into the internal space of your ankles and your lower legs up to your knees. And you're inhabiting the internal space to the very core of your ankles and lower legs not outside them, not on the surface, not above, but letting yourself really rest inside the internal space of your lower legs. Coming into the internal space of your knees And here, see if you can find the very centers of both knees at the same time. You might notice that these points waver or oscillate, and that's okay. You can find one point at a time and then both together. And as these points start to settle, you'll notice a settling of the mind. Stillness and balance of the mind will be revealed. coming into the internal space of your thighs, from your knees all the way up to your hip sockets. Resting in the internal space of your upper legs. Now coming into your pelvis, to the internal space of your pelvis, allowing yourself to rest downward to the floor of your pelvis. And here you can sense the physical contact your sits bones is making with whatever you're seated on, seating on. Again, see if you can allow yourself to stay down in your internal space of your pelvis, even as you inhale. Now find the centers of both hip sockets at the same time. You might need to allow your awareness to settle down a little deeper, not resting on the surface, but really resting in the centers of both hip sockets. And here you can feel and sense your lower body, your legs at the same time as your upper body and your torso.
Now coming into the internal space of your abdomen, from your pelvis up to your ribs, in the front of your stomach, all the way through your lower back. You really feel like you're coming into the full volume of your abdomen. And as you come into this part of your body, you might find that you naturally want to move or shift, and that's okay. Now coming into the internal space of your chest, from your sternum up to your collarbone, and all the way through the back, through your shoulder blades. Again, gently and patiently, seeing how much you can rest in the internal volume of your chest. Now coming into the internal space of your shoulders, allowing them to soften and relax. Coming in to the centers of both shoulder sockets at the same time. Coming into your upper arms, elbows, forearms, wrists, palms of your hands and your fingers. Coming into the full internal space of your arms all at once. And that you are this internal space. Coming into the internal space of your neck. Allowing yourself to rest downward in the internal space of your neck. Also coming into the internal space all the way down through your collarbones. Coming into the internal space of your forehead, around through your temples. Here, see if you can find a small point in the very center of your forehead, not between your eyebrows, but up a little bit above that in the very center of your forehead. This point might not appear in your mind or maybe it does and it moves around and that's okay. Let's see if you can allow yourself to settle. Allow this point to settle in the very center of your forehead. You can imagine, visualize it as a little point of light
Now you can drop back behind that point as if you're seeing it from inside your mind. Coming into your eyebrows and your eyes, deep into your eye sockets, allowing your eyes to smooth and become continuous with your face. Coming into the internal space of your nose, and your lips, mouth, chin, your jaw, and your cheekbones. Coming into the very centers of your ears. Now inhabiting the internal space of your brain from the front to the back. Allowing yourself to rest in this internal space. Inhabiting the internal space of your head all at once. Seeing if you can find the very center of your head between your ears, with very subtle and refined awareness. Now inhabit your whole body all at once. Experience living as one singular internal space of your body with nothing left out. Now without leaving your body, see if you can sense the space in the room or in the space of wherever you're at. And that the space that pervades you also pervades the room. And this is just one continuous space. And now slowly open your eyes. And again, inhabit the internal space of your body all at once. And attune and sense the space of the room. And again, this is one continuous pervasive space. Okay, I don't know how long that was, but hopefully but I know not. that was that was gorgeous. Great, I hope. Um, uh, and what what I what I if it can we, could we yeah reflect on that a little bit yeah because what I notice right now is coming out of that space and into this space is it's sort of like I can feel the blood sort of coming back up to my brain in a certain kind of way. You know yeah. what I mean? And uh -huh. I, I think what you just offered the practice you just offered, which was tremendously simple but mm. powerful mm. it's an opportunity i think to sort of tease apart all the various ways that we enact and illuminate ultimate reality mm. right so mm -hmm. as you're going through that you're you're not only creating sort of this cohesive integration of the body itself but when you're yep. telling us to inhabit the internal space of our yep. ankles yeah right you you you're enacting reality in a in a in a different way from that space and i notice sort of different mm -hmm. qualities shifting from for example from the ankles to the pelvis mm -hmm. and both of which were an opportunity for mind to sort of like take a step 
back and say, okay, there's other ways to perceive this reality. There's other ways to relate with this sort of moment to moment Mm -hmm. spontaneous arising of experience Yes, that isn't necessarily so cognitive. And the challenge of, you know, as I'm feeling those sensations and as I'm just sort of trying to notice, you can also feel mind sort of like generating all this noise and trying to sort of um, track everything that's happening. And and I've got this little internal monologue that's sort of narrating the experience for me. And I, you know, have to sort of be careful that I don't fall into again, sort of this, um, this, this, this mental chatter that, you know, and and obviously, you know, doing the practice over and over again helps, helps reduce that chatter, but it's an, it's nice to do a practice like this because you can just feel how differently you relate to these things just by focusing on different parts of your own body, parts of your own sort of sensory um, experience. Yeah. Thanks, Corey. That was really great. Um, And right on. And, you know, there's so much to say. This practice is very, very simple and it's, there's even more to the, this foundational practice, but it provides us with so much. Uh, There's so many, things to explore and layers here but just to say that you know when we talk about mental chatter coming up basically we're talking about attention and awareness collapsing onto a part of our experience now we've been talking about mental but it could uh, be uh, reactivity too it could be emotional so for example example we can collapse on anxiety right we might be having a really intense experience of anxiety and we're aware of nothing else so this can happen in really profound, debilitating ways, but also can happen in very simple ways. Just attention awareness collapses. So what this practice does is, is it's trying to say, well, let's not have it collapse. Let's, Because this body we're in, this life we're in is our birthright. It, it's inherent. It's who we are. So there's no objective reason that we should be, you know, dissociating from our feet, you know, or, uh, or, or our stomachs, you know, and then of course, qualities that correlate to them there's no reason that we should or have to do that so Mm -hmm. here we're just coming back in and inhabiting it and then this very much applies to anything else we're doing this quality of what that feels like to really inhabit and try to show up more fully in our own uh, bodies is going to be similar to whether we're talking about politics or social media it's just that those are going to be much more complex domains that invite us to get collapsed and you know, worked up. Yep. So anyways, there's a lot we could talk about that, but uh, hopefully that was a little, that was helpful.